Well, now let's get to the breaking news from the West Lawn of the Capitol, where a single pilot gyrocopter landed about three and a half hours ago. I'm sure, I'm sure you've heard about that by now. Now, it came down, bear with me here for a quick second. I'm no Doug Hill when it comes to using this area here in the studio. It came down here just west of the U.S. Capitol on the other side of the, of the reflecting pool and on the eastern side of First Street behind the Capitol, as you can see there. And, of course, we've got live team coverage of the landing for you tonight, so let's get things started now with Stephen Cheetah. He is standing by there at the Capitol. Stephen, what's the latest now? Leon, within the hour, I spoke with a reporter for the Tampa Bay Times. He says he knows the pilot of this gyrocopter. He identifies him as Doug Hughes, a man in his early 60s, a mailman who is a campaign finance reform zealot. He says that Hughes has talked of doing this for more than a year. What we do know right now is a lot of people are asking, how could an aircraft get this close to the U.S. Capitol? It landed about 1.30 on the west lawn of the U.S. Capitol. A small gyrocopter had a single occupant. U.S. Capitol Police sprang into action immediately and took that lone person into custody. We've been hearing the sirens and didn't know what was going on and was trying to walk up the street and everything's blocked off and turned off. While the bomb squad inspected the gyrocopter, streets around the Capitol shut down. And those on hand asked how could a gyrocopter get so close to the U.S. Capitol, violate a no-fly zone? in this post-September 11th world. How did that guy even get in here? That was the big thing. That's what everybody was talking about with the airspace being restricted and all that. And how could he fly a helicopter and land on the lawn of the Capitol building, you know? Well, tourists gawked at the gyrocopter, which sent the nation's capital into a state of confusion and concern. The investigation continued. Investigators stated that the pilot of that aircraft would eventually face charges. Now, just about 10 minutes ago, the U.S. Capitol Police issued a statement saying the investigation continues and no word yet, again, about what charges the pilot of the gyrocopter may face eventually. Reporting live, Stephen Cheetah, ABC 7 News. You see that now people down there near the Capitol at the time watched as that gyrocopter made its way toward the Capitol. D.C. Bureau Chief Sam Ford now picks up our team coverage. He's standing by on the National Mall. Sam? Yes, Leon. Well, you know, the D.C. Bureau is right across the street from where this landed. So we heard about this, came out and saw all kinds of people sort of running in that direction to get a look at this thing that had come out of the sky. Among them were a group of protesters who had set up shop here on the mall. pickup area where the buses come in and pick up people, tourists, and we were standing there and this little, it's almost like the guy from E.T. Yeah. is riding a bicycle almost, but it doesn't have the bikes on it, and it has a helicopter blade on the top, and it comes flying over the pond over there and lands right, and it bounces down on the ground and pops up. There's like a box on the back of it, um, but it's just... He landed right there, and then immediately the cops came over and said, get back, get back, go, and start running. Okay, and those, it turns out, were a group of uh, young people from West Virginia who were on a college trip. But a number of people came. They saw this thing happen. It reminded some people of the situation back in October of 2013 when a young woman named Miriam Carey was driving fast through this area. As it turns out, she drove, at, I understand, at speeds of up to 80 miles an hour between the White House and the Capitol. She came here and drove around that same area where this, this device landed uh, and eventually was shot and killed by the U.S. Capitol Police. There was a child in the car who fortunately, that child fortunately was not hurt. But still, a lot of concern by people here in this area. Some thought it perhaps was terrorism, and a lot of people are relieved that it was not. Reporting live from the U.S. Capitol, Sam Ford. ABC 7 News. Okay, Sam, thank you. And now, only on 7, you'll see this video of the pilot being arrested right on the grounds of the U.S. Capitol. And it appears that the man came to our area from Florida. I-Team investigator Josie Sturman is digging into his background. She's in the newsroom now. Josie? 
Well, Allison, the Tampa Bay Times has identified that pilot as Doug Hughes, that 61-year-old mailman from Florida. And we're learning a lot more about his motivation for landing that gyrocopter on the lawn of the U.S. Capitol. The Tampa Bay Times has been profiling this guy for quite some time. He's been preparing for what landed him today in the most restricted airspace, practicing on that one-man gyrocopter. We dug up some social media postings that indicate Hughes has had that aircraft since 2013, although he says he was briefly grounded last fall because of mechanical problems. The 7 on your side I-team also did some digging to find out more about his background and motivation. It turns out Hughes is the vice president of a nonprofit reform group called the Civilist Papers based in Florida. The organization's website says it has a systematic plan to fix Congress. One part of that plan was today's mission, which Hughes has called an act of civil disobedience. It was planned for the better part of the year, according to the reporter, who interviewed him before any of this happened today. Uh, he was trying to uh, uh, arrest the 24-hour news cycle and turn the attention of um, everyday Americans to what he thinks is the biggest issue in politics today, and that's campaign finance reform, something that makes your eyes glaze over. And all eyes were certainly watching today. Now, Hughes told the reporter he wanted somebody to hear the backstory of this whole situation in case he was arrested or hurt carrying out today's flight. Hughes was immediately taken into custody by Capitol Police after landing, so we know about the rest. We don't know whether he was injured. Josie Sturman, ABC 7 News. All right, thank you, Josie. Now, folks, we know you've got questions about today's incident. ABC 7, believe me, is on your side because we're trying to get answers for you and for ourselves as well. For example, how in the world did this pilot make it to the U.S. Capitol, considering the fact that there is maybe one of the strictest no-fly zones in the country around D.C., particularly around the National Mall? And if the Tampa Bay Times did notify the Secret Service about this man's intentions before he took off, why in the world was nothing done to stop him? That's a really big question. So stay with us here on ABC7 for continuing coverage. We will work to get you answers to those questions and more. Allison.